Hello and welcome everybody, our proper variant and today I have a game for you that isn't out yet but that is available as a demo, much like Manalodes for example, during the Steam Next Fest. This one is Inculinati. Inculinati is a game that I've played on this channel ages ago. It combines Monty Python humor all the way to the humor of monks that attempted to draw animals and makes it so that you basically battle it out with these enemies. It also has a bit of a roguelike characteristic I would say because you have certainly a similar, a similar style to for example I think Darkest Dungeon 2 who does it? Uh, I think Slay the Spire does it. It's a staple of, of course, roguelike, and that is a bit of a tree that you can follow as you progress through the game. We're gonna see that in a second. Um, I hope not to be embarrassed too much here today, mostly because I'm not that good at this game, I'll admit it. Uh, you have to basically play it a bit like chess, a bit like any other, I guess, turn-based battler. And you're gonna see this, you're gonna, I think, get the uh, hang of it in just a second. We're gonna play at least through the first journey, if I can actually make that happen. I don't know how much else is in the demo the dev actually wrote me I had this game ages ago on the channel the dev actually wrote me hey you want to play this and I didn't see the mail uh, I want to play it so here I am actually checking it out during the Steam Next Fest again you can play this game right now so make sure to check that out but let's just jump into this journey you can do the tutorial as well uh, I will by the way play this with controller so this game will be available on the Xbox Game Pass and on, on consoles in general. And I want to test what the controller is like, how it plays, right? I want to see how it goes. Uh, now, you got to choose a difficulty setting. I'm going to go with normal. I am pretty sure this might mean I could lose, but, you know, let's just jump in. Right, we have here our Inculinati, the actual person that we play. You know what? Why don't we uh, Alewife? I really like that. Miller, Looney. I, you gotta, come on, you, you gotta, you gotta do it, right? But then we need a, a different color here. Let's just take yellow. Uh, then you have basically different decks. This one is the beast deck um, with the, uh, either the rabbits or the hounds. I think I'm gonna go hound here, honestly. Obviously, I think initially it's just visuals, but then they have different special units, something like this. Hand action. Um, I could either heal or I could stomp. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the stomp. And then I will probably... Honestly, I'm not even sure what this means. Let, let's just pick this. You know what, let's just jump in here. Uh, our deck is of course going to be, yep, indeed, our dear three... Uh, I actually gotta click this, I guess. Our dogs right here. There you go. And then our three hand actions. Let's just jump into it. I'll be honest with you. Um, when it comes to this game, I have very little experience. Listen, I play a whole bunch of games. I've been playing a lot of Anno 1800 lately, for example. Um... These sort of turn-based battlers, I do not play. I have to admit, I didn't even finish Banner Saga 2, despite it being amazing, because I was too bad at it. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll just be outright. But this game is definitely worth it with the humor. I've enjoyed it a lot when I did the tutorial, so let's just check it out. The master is talking to us. Today you will pass your final exam, become an Inculinati master, and then set off on your Inculinati journey. You still have to face a wild beast encounter before you can take your exam, though. Uh, what I do again? Just select the wild beast encounter icon. Tiny in Inculinati versus Wild Beast encounters are marked with a sword and quill icon. The enemy, Tiny Inculinati, is not present in this type of battle. Right, that would be an equal battle. Um, it's gonna be PvP for this as well, I think. Once you enter a location, you cannot leave it, so choose carefully. Right. Okay, um, Tiny versus Wild Beast encounter. Tiny Inculinati face off against the Wild Beasts. Be careful, they will regain health when we, uh, they drain 12 drops of living ink. Ah. Okay, I see. And we're fighting the dogs here. You can see uh, they, they have a nice unit over there. It's, it's this dog right here with a helmet. That is a very strong unit. I've played with this before. And by the way, this is basically, if you're playing with controller, you can activate this tooltip mod, uh, mode, which I actually really like. They, they are really good about UI in this game. I have to tell you that much. I, I have noticed that over the years I've become so critical of UI, but I actually really like what they did here in general. Right, um, let's just jump in. I think we can, surely we can win here, right? It's just against a couple of dogs. Ah, and I think it only spawned in these two. It could have technically spawned in more. Now, what are we gonna do? Um, I would like it if my Inculinati stood on these ink spots. So these ink spots, basically, you can see it right here, they give you more movement or more actions that you can take in the upcoming turns, and I definitely want that. So if I can get them to stand in there, then I also block out these squares, meaning the dogs, whenever their turns actually come up, they will be in a position where they have to destroy these things. So I'm going to spawn in. Yeah, I'm going to spawn in two spearmen. Uh, swordsmen actually cannot go past the barricades, whereas spearmen can do that, if I understand that correctly anyway. Uh, maybe it's all only smaller barricades, something like that. Let's just spawn you in right here. And now on the top left, my ink has been used up, and I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna relax. 
Let's, let's just relax for a moment. We absorbed a whole lot of ink right there. And more ink popped up, very nice. So we can just basically stay there and pick that up. Uh, look at that, yeah. Now he's trying to push through. Um, I think we might want to focus on the left here. Let's move this dark first. Yeah, I'll actually move on the ink spot here. And then I'll just attack him. So the attack here works basically. You have in the bottom, you have different types of attacks. You can push them. This is a, an attack that pierces, right? I don't think we want to push them here. I think I just want to go ahead, attack him, and then I need to basically time it to do as much damage as I can. There you go. Perfect. You love to see it. 7 HP left. And now it's his turn. He didn't even destroy it. Interesting. Um, I think I might just move in. So... Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna move him here. Oh, actually, I like the ink spot, though. Can I do something with my Inculinati here? Not really, I guess. Actually, this is a great spawn for us. I think, yeah. I don't even think we need that. Now that I think about it. <laughs> I don't see when this could genuinely become useful. Um, I'm just gonna... I think I'm just gonna squish you here. Oh, it doesn't kill you, right? It does uh, 5 damage, I wanna say? Yeah, it does 5 swatting damage. Hmm... I'll actually do it to him, I think, just to, to bring him down, and I think then I can even kill him with this dark. We're, we're not going to be able to collect the actual ink here, but I don't think it matters too much. There you go. Oof. I almost mispressed there. <laughs> but look at that, yeah. As you can see, I mean, something that has to be said about this game is that it just looks so good. The unique art style really, really works well in this game. I don't think we're gonna be bothered by any of these ink slots here. Okay, he's gonna do damage, but this is basically over, right? I, I don't think... Uh, sure, I'll walk you in here. That's okay. Go to bed. Because they don't have any other units anymore, so I might as well just... Attack. Oof, there you go. So far, I'm, I'm perfect when it comes to getting the damage done. And then I can just uh, use the archer here. Yeah, we're just gonna use the normal attack to actually destroy the enemy. Look at that. So far, so good. I hope that you understand the basics of this combat. Trust me, it gets super complex. Winning, me like it. Grr. It gets super complex in the sense that you can push people past each other and then off the manuscript, which also kills them. I'm not that good at that. I've been pushed off by the AI several times. Uh, I sh should have probably not told you that, but <laughs> it didn't go all that well for me, yeah. Um, right, you get basically... You get bored in this game, or rather your writer gets bored. They want you to mix up who you summon, and they do that by making it more expensive to keep summoning the same beasts over and over again. Uh, now here we can collect rewards. Um, I think we're just gonna collect them all, right? Yeah, why wouldn't we? Now when it comes to the beasts, oh my god, I've never... Pretty fragile for a fox. Has a bow that can attack up to six fields away. Can also hit up to three enemies. Attack inflicts ink steel. Isn't that... Ooh, it inflicts ink steel. Steal one drop of living ink from your enemy. This is what I mean when I like the UI. You see this? You see ink steel right there and then it's explained up here. That's very nice. Um, you also can be used every two chapters, right? The beast... Agile target. The beast is harder to hit during a dexterity attack. Stop the arrow in the attack zone on the highest number in order to deal the most damage. Damage ranges in the attack zone are color-coded. Oh, I did not even know that. The symbols next to them indicate additional effects. You have a few seconds to stop the arrow. When time runs out, the arrow will stop on a random number. Um, he also steals ink. So basically, the foxes, I guess, steal ink. What is your special thing? Here comes the butt. Causes an enemy to take a nap, get a headache, and decrease their accuracy. <laughs> this action won't take... Uh, where, where is it? Sorry, I need to deactivate my mouse there. This action won't work if the target isn't facing your beast. <laughs> I think I'm gonna... <laughs> as, as enticing as that sounds, I think I'm gonna go with the ink stealing. I'm gonna go with the ink stealing spearman here. Alright, now, um, we did this encounter. Let's do... let's talk to the master here. 
Your health regenerates a little after every battle. And by how many points, you may ask? Like I said at the beginning, that depends on your difficulty. Right. Uh, what if I lose all my health? If your health drops to zero, the battle is lost. When you lost a battle, you'll be uh, restored to full health and lose one quill. If you lose a battle and don't have any quills left, your journey is over. Inculinati are tired of drawing beasts. That is what I talked about earlier with the boredom mechanic. Every time they draw a beast, their boredom level goes up. The higher the boredom, the more ink it does to draw a beast. Now repeat. Right. Um... The higher the boredom, the more ink it uh, costs. All right, to decrease boredom, draw different beasts in your next battle. Fight a beast versus beast battle or visit the chapel. Got it? Yeah, sure. Um, let's let's fight you and let's... Oh, I don't need to mix it up. So I can basically slot in four monsters, five monsters, and I currently only have four, which means I can bring them all. Uh, okay, so we're fighting dogs and we actually, you can see the, the map here. We have two platform levels now. And there is, of course, going to be an apocalypse type, but we're going to see that, I think, in in due time. Okay, let's uh, let's not lose this. We have a lot of barricades on this battlefield. We have a dog down here. That is an enemy dog. But that dog is sleeping, so I don't actually need to take care of him right away. I think I would probably prefer attacking this dog, Andronikos. Let me check. Uh, this dog can go, go up to the ladder. Oh, and actually that worries me because basically this dog can attack upwards. That is what the spear dogs can do. You don't know that yet, but but I know that and it, and it does concern me. Um, I might actually just walk to this healing cloud and then still shoot him if I can, which, which I reckon I can. Um, let's go right here and then let's shoot you. Let's hope that I can actually aim here. Oh, there you go. My reflexes, they're not yet that awful. Yeah, there he comes. Uh, but he can't attack me because he had to go up the ladder. And now I'm thinking... I could technically... <laughs> I could kill my own dog if I really wanted to. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, I could move him one away. Oh, I didn't see that my other dog was sleeping. You see this? The... Uh, our second dog is sleeping. Hmm. Okay, in that case, I think I'm gonna sun. Uh, I'm gonna summon this fox. Let me think about this. Yes. I am. It would probably be better to collect as much ink as I can, but I really want to keep my inculinati from being damaged. I'm gonna summon this fox right here, so that he can't come close to me. It looks so good. This is such a beautiful game. Um, if I'm not wrong yet, I think... I think I could technically move him, move myself, I mean, to the edge. It's super dangerous because if I do get knocked off, I'm dead. But I don't think they can knock me. I would move myself to the edge to collect more ink. Yeah, why not, right? Hmm. But then I would allow him technically... Yeah, look at that. He would be able to walk to that point. You see it, the, the green in the bottom there. He would be able to walk to that point and then still attack me. You know what? We're not going to do that. I, I Don't put too much thought into this, okay? <laughs> uh, things said before disaster, right? I'm just going to go... and squash him, I guess. And then he's an easy kill. Actually, let's squash the other one, just so that they're both low health. Look at that hand. Yeah, the Inculinati are literally just depictions of a real writer. That is at least the the theory here. Um, yeah, we'll summon one down here. In the in the ink spot. And I think that's it. I think we're good after that. Let's go to bed here. They do not have an Inculinati to actually summon anything. He's gonna move him first. Shoot my Inculinati, of course. And I'm just gonna kill his dog. Listen, I'm not afraid. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dog killer in this situation, okay? We're gonna push him off the edge. And that takes care of Andronikos. Look at that. And now he only has the actual donkey. Who is a very dangerous one. He's a very dangerous character. Uh, you think I can... Ooh, okay. Let's hope that I can aim properly. Yes, okay, he's dead. I am impressed by myself. So far, I am I am doing very well. 
I'm very excited to see that because uh, uh, <laughs> that is not a guaranteed thing. Now I'm going to start positioning myself behind this rock so that he actually needs to pass through the rock. Let, let me just check this. Where can you go? Yeah, okay, this- oh, this is perfect. You're gonna- I am- I am a guard at this game. Uh, just go to bed. It's okay. The other fox is gonna go adjacent to you. What this means is the donkey cannot attack past the rock and he needs to walk to an empty space past the rock. But as you can see, there's only this one and that is so far away. He won't really be able to do much. So let's just call it right here. We can just sleep and I think that's gonna put us into an amazing position. Yeah. I think I played this really well. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn too much. Right, let's see this. Uh, can he? Oh! Okay, never played with this guy, but as you can see, he was able to do that. He gave my units a headache, which gives, uh, takes away some accuracy. Oh, and it actually puts them to sleep, right. But he wasn't able to move in, which I'll take as a, as a win here. Yeah, I'll just shoot him. There you go. The damn, the damn donkey, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get the damage in. There you go. I so far literally every <laughs> single shot perfect. You you gotta acknowledge that. You gotta acknowledge that. Uh, can I squish him or anything? No. I could technically move myself and then attempt to squish him. How much HP does he have? Four. I think this is the winning move right here. So I go right here and then I decide to squish him. Boom. <laughs> Do I play too fast? Uh, maybe. I, I don't know whether you can follow this. That is a big question, but obviously I'm playing off, uh, showing off Inculinati here in a bit of a, a more active fashion, I reckon. I love winning. L uh, losing to you is like winning, my friend. Oh, that is... For somebody that just fought into my fox's face, that, that's a pretty nice thing to say. I, I have to admit. Alright, so we just succeeded. We are getting healed, of course. Uh, the boredom stat should have gone down a bit because I didn't summon... Did I summon... I'm actually not sure. Did I summon the... Hmm, you know what? I, I completely forgot what I summoned. But we get another beast. Oh, that is so good. So the snail is really... I've seen it. I'm afraid of it. Basically, the snail immediately just devours whatever is in the adjacent field. Um, obviously, it can't walk all that far. But man, that's a good card. I do like the, the fox meta. But you know what? You gotta go with the snail, I feel. You gotta go with something... It takes 15 ink points... All right, you know what? No, in that case, you gotta you gotta go with a. I'll, I'll go fox meta here. Sure, why not? Uh, Fifteen ink points. I don't think I'm I'm good enough for that. <laughs> Prestige allows you to choose dialogue options unavailable to puny peasants. Being famous does have its advantages. So the prestige is the crown up top. Thank you, master. I love you, master. He's so uh, prestigious, of course. Um, that didn't help at all, but you're still the best. You will now visit a non-combat location. Here you won't face a battle, but a decision that will affect your resources. Hover your cursor over a location to view details. Alright. Um, spend gold to permanently increase your starting health, or spend gold to permanently increase your starting living ink. I like that a lot. More living ink is really useful for sure. This gives you plus two. And I can't do any of the others, because I haven't reached uh, that level of prestige, I guess. I'm too, uh, too famous to spend gold, I'm going to take advantage of my celebrity status. Right, and I'm very rich and important, giving the secret scriptures. Uh, I wish that was me. Um, I'm gonna just pay the money, yeah. I'll pay the money, get some starting ink, I think that is a very good option, and then we progress. You have reached the end of the tiny map. At the end of each map, an Inculinati master awaits. Defeating them in battle will allow you to continue your journey. But first, you will have to defeat me to pass the final exam at the academy. What should I focus on in these battles? Um, yeah. Most importantly, you need a large diversity of beasts. Always bring the maximum of five, be uh, five beasts with you. You'll soon be getting some new beasts, so plan your strategy carefully and watch out for boredom. Right, um... Spoilers, I'm really bad at deck building. And I don't just say that, I seriously mean this, that whenever I play deck builders, I am actually probably the worst player alive. I, my brain cannot facilitate good strategy, so do not expect anything. Um, let's fight. You know what? Let's just do this. What, what is this right here? Spend gold to buy various items. I like that. Show me what you got, or you look kind of shady. I honestly... If I'm gonna make this, right, if I'm gonna succeed here, the prestige is probably better. This is like the, this is probably the choice between like a short-term and a long-term benefit. Um, I'm not gonna buy anything. Show me what you got. You look kinda shady, you weirdo. And now time to beat the master. 
What are you doing? This doesn't make sense. Um, me master, meaning it's just a meaning is just a projection of the self used to diminish perceived pain. I don't need it. I don't even know what we're talking about, but that makes sense to me. Hmm, your words fill the void. I'm proud of you. Let's begin the exam. Yeah, I literally just... Basically, he, they're making fun of, of philosophy students. Oh my god. Okay, so let's take a look at this. Look at this map. You see, this is a, a wildly different map. Three levels and fire sparks. Every chapter, fire sparks will appear on the battlefield and deal damage to anything on their field. Every chapter. Hmm. So basically, after chapter four, after round four, this apocalypse will happen. Uh, there will be ink drizzle, glade events, so random events. Um, he has, so, what are these, like gremlins? Cook exploder, can throw a bean bowl up to four fields away which causes explosions. So you don't want to have units that stand close together. Man, I am not feeling good about this. And now that we actually have a, an inculinati on the other side, uh, they will also have hand abilities. You can see this right here, so you can summon things and you can just do things with your hand. In Inculinati. Um, detonation. Oh my god. What the hell is this hand ability? This guy can make tiles explode. Alright. Uh, he can move people and he can make tiles explode. Um, I don't know whether we can win this. But I also don't think analyzing them anymore. Will really do me that big of a favor. We got the gremlin gang right here. Alright. You know what? Let's jump in. Let's do this. Can I, can I change anything in my army? We pulled out the dog, I guess. Ah, uh, you know what? No, I'm actually gonna pull off... Um, I need to I need to check the boredom set here. How exactly does this actually work? Boredom. Show me boredom. It does not. Oh, there it is. Every time you draw a beast during your journey, you gain a level of boredom. The amount of uh, living ink needed to draw the beast. Uh, okay, so... I kind of want to get rid of the fox here. Yeah, the fox goes, the dog comes in. Oh, I guess we, we just bring everybody. Right, my bad. Let's do it. Let's see what we can do here. Mm, of course, he's up top, so... That means we need to climb. Oh, <laughs> I think I already... Ah, oh, this is screwed up. Um, They put the, the barrels in the way here, so that you can't position yourself. So he can push and pull, we saw that, right? And if I position him here, he can throw me off. Hmm. Ooh, oh, I can shoot him. Oh, okay, what a range. Jesus Christ. We can shoot them up to there. Or I could try to clear away of these barrels. I think for the first turn, I'm going to clear this barrel. And I'm going to try to maneuver my way up there in safety, basically. I just need to actually hit it. If, if I hit this, then, then we have a golden future. Oh yeah, this is this one is nice and slow. We got him. Okay. Now his turn. Look at that. What the hell is this hand? Okay, what is that? Oh, and I forgot my, to position myself. I'm a, I'm a fool. So he summoned two. Moved one to the ink spot because that is a freebie. And I should have totally done that as well. Um, okay. I will... I can summon up here, huh? It's pretty good. Oh, I can summon up there! Um, I will summon the cheapest possible one, which is this swordsman. Yeah, we'll summon him right here. It's a huge ink spot. We know the enemy can't go anymore, so I'm guaranteed that, that mana, basically, that ink. And then... We could do with another archer, honestly. Archery seems super strong in this scenario, because they can, they can just straight up shoot up all the way to the top. Let's bring you in. And then I can't summon anything anymore, but I can. Um, ah, but then I can only do this once. I should have... My summoning was actually very suboptimal now that I think about it. I could have summoned it so that we get three ink spots, but... Hmm, yeah, what are you gonna do, right? Oh, actually... No, I can't change it. Okay, I, I was thinking of how to do it, but I can't really think of anything. So, let's just move you here. Oh, I'm actually also kind of stupid, right? If I get unlucky here... Then they can just push me over the edge. Uh, let's not let's not do that, right? Um, let's. Can I squeeze anybody? Oh yeah, absolutely. Let's uh, pinch this guy. 
can't push anybody over the edge except my own beast. I think that's it. But actually, I might want to... What, what can they actually do? Pretty good range for an explode. Uh, the hit can hit up to two fields away or one level away, as well as reach behind obstacles. Oh, only one level though. Always attack two fields in a line. Can explode on uh, demand at any time. Also explodes when killed. These gremlins, they just explode. Excuse me. Piercing head. Attacks an adjacent field, so you can't attack anybody. Hold your farts. The beast is holding its farts. <laughs> you can't do that. Loyal to the grave. Gives one <laughs> drop of living ink. And I'm noticing, by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna position my camera a bit up. Give me a second. Yeah, this makes it this makes it at least a little bit better. You can't see all of the thumbnail or tooltips anymore, don't worry about it. So this guy explodes, he throws explosions, and that is that is his gimmick. I don't think I'm at risk of being thrown down yet, but I want to move. I'm going to move myself here. Just so that I can't be thrown off the edge. Since there's an item behind me, there was a risk of that. So let's not provoke that in any way. All right, who goes first here? He. Oh, no. Is he just going to push me? What the hell was that? Master's army. You should know that I can force my beasts to explode. I do so I do so love the smell of explosions in the morning. I even get an extra drop of living ink for it. Not only can they explode on command, they also explode when someone kills them. Did I mention they explode those? So I understand now how this level is meant to be played. You are basically meant to push people primarily. That that is that is what they want from you here. What I'm thinking, be oh, I can't reach. See, I, I was thinking maybe I can push him off. But I don't, yeah, I, I just can't here. Hmm. Okay, um, what can you do? You could kill him, but then he explodes, kills the dog, and oh, he doesn't kill the dog. Huh. Wait a minute, so... Can he actually reach the Inclinati? Yeah, he totally can. Hmm. Okay, um... I will. So he can't even reach him. That sucks. That's not nice. Um, I will kill this cat or whatever the hell it is. Take the explosion to the face. Sometimes you just got it. What are you going to do about it? How much damage does it actually do? Probably should have checked. Five. You know what I've seen? I've seen worse. What do you do? Okay. That's not good. <laughs> um... What do I do to you? Oh my god, I wish I was get better at these games. <laughs> uh, what, what do I do? I could summon someone. How high up can I summon someone? Just there. Huh. Oh, I definitely, probably... Maybe want a dog right there. I could also, so what we definitely want to do is we need this guy to be pushed down. We don't want him to explode in our faces. There's no, that's just purely negative. If I summon you here, I think I can push him off in just a second. Yeah. Then again, uh, you know what? Let's just skip the summoning for the moment. I'm just gonna, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna move you here. Oh, I... I actually forgot that he's still at a turn. I beg you. Okay, he's sleeping. <laughs> I I am not a fan of, of this guy being here as well. They all explode. Oh my god. Um, why don't you move right here? Take a nap. And then first thing I do with you is push him to his death. Yeah. Then I will very quickly... Push, uh, this is better than nothing. I'll push him over here so that he collects the ink. And then I guess it's summoning time. Um, I would actually prefer summoning multiple enemies uh, or multiple units. I'm going to summon you because spear units can attack upwards. I'm going to summon you right here. And then if I have time, or rather ink, I would like to summon another archer. Yeah, right over here. There's a lot of ink spots left unused, but it is what it is. Oh, this is the maximum beast number. Up to five beasts at any given time. Okay, so no drawing anymore, meaning I don't actually care for this ink. It's actually kind of decent. And technically... Oh, no. That poor, that poor dog, my god. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. Um... I can technically shoot him now, can't I? 
Yeah, I can. But I also do need to worry about getting him out of the way. Frankly, I might just, you know. So we know he's gonna summon in a second. I'm, I'm okay with that, I think. But I want to hurry up and actually do some damage. Yes, let's go. He felt somewhat hungry. Wait a minute. Right, it's writing a story here. Oh my god. How could you do this to me? Okay, so he pushed me down and then napped. He didn't have enough ink. Oh my god, because I didn't let him explode. I might actually be good at this game. Wait, what does it actually read here? The battle I'm about to describe took place in a glade both vast and extraordinary, where threats awaited at every step. Uh, Vesevolot Vezev advanced beautifully. Oh, these are actually our pet names and the turns they take. Then Otfroy, who once wedded a sheep, a pretty one to be fair, jogged forward confidently ahead. Archibald, what then uh, what then was considered a sin, hobbled around leisurely where, he, where the challenge awaited, after which... He felt somewhat hungry. Furious Archibald struck the enemy and he was filled with pride. Ah, that is Otfroy right here. He pushed him down, that son of a gun. I like that. <laughs> it's, it's writing the story of the battle in the actual book in front of us. Uh, okay, so let me see. They get zero turns anymore. No turns. Um, obviously we want the dog up top. We could have collected some ink, but I think we're okay. Dobby raced forward hastily, after which he felt somewhat hungry. A lot of people are hungry here, huh? Seems to be a bit of a pattern. Um, I'm obviously gonna shove you. I think I can just do it with him. Oh, then I would have to double for that, though. Um, honestly, I might just summon a fox here. Because he should be able to reach. And he kind of blocks the way as well, I guess. So I'll summon you. And then I will... Probably push. It takes two actions anyway, I think. I don't think it makes that big of a difference here. We're definitely gonna want to push him off. Honestly, if you were a really good player, I'm pretty sure you would have taken this barrel, basically. And made it so that you can just, like, immediately push them off as soon as they step down the uh, the ladder. Sadly, I am not that good. Um, Could shove you there. No, okay, what we're gonna do is... Oh, wait, what? Oh, I need to finish my move with him. Yeah, okay, in that sense. Um, I will definitely just push you here. Once you start a move with a beast, you have to obviously finish it. I'm not gonna do that. That's okay. Then you need to use your turn to push him down and block the ladder, I guess. Shove that fool. There you go. Get him out of here. Should give me ink. No ink. Oh, is it only if you use your hand move? I didn't know that. And let's attack the master. Surely. First fail. And such a such a pivotal one. Magnus socked his cousin and the laughter died on his lips. Oh, the... Oh, uh, uh, come on. I'm so Okay, wow. Everybody's in this damn... Okay. Screw you, buddy. Wait a minute. Isn't he just gonna die? He, he's gonna die in the fire. No, 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 wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna use the hint here. That, that's okay. Tooltip mode. Wait, wait, where can I... No, no, he's, he's dead. Is he not... Excuse me. Activates at the end of the... Oh, it's certain damage. Three damage, huh? Ah, interesting. So obviously what we need to do now is I need to make sure... That I hopefully can pull him just in this turn already. Um, I'm gonna obviously move you here. No, not with my hand. I need to. I need to do it with the uh, actual animal. You go here because this is my failsafe. Even if I don't kill him, I will then be able to push myself out of the fire, which is good. Obviously. How much damage can I do here? Let's go. That is what you want to see. <laughs> so he will take damage in the fire. That's unlucky. What can you do? Um, let's go. What a guard. What a guard at video games. Unbelievable. <laughs> I love winning. Excellent. Congratulations. Right. There you go. That is the first, uh, well, area, I guess, of the journey here. Don't know how much more is available in the demo. Let's just collect everything that we deserve. Prestige, gold, beasts, a pope. You know what, I'm gonna take the, the Pope Cat here. 
Can it, can it hit up to two fields away or one level away, as well as reach enemies hiding behind obstacles. Can restore health by purring and put a halo on friendly beasts. Is anointed. Being anointed means that if you attack this beast, you become a heretic, which is bad for you. Uh, heretics receive double damage from the anointed. Ooh, that is a nice buff animal. Uh, hand actions. Ah. Wakes a friendly beast up from their nap. I like that. Wakes up to three friendly beasts from their nap and gives them an additional turn in the current chapter. That is so good. My god. Um, but this you can use every two every two rounds. I'm actually going to pick this, I think. And then a talent. Beasts with a base cost of six or less are one drop of living ink cheaper. Um, grants three drops of living ink for every friendly beast that dies. I like that, actually. I kind of spam beasts. Anyway, wonderful. Now we can start the party. Thanks to you. Let's go. Where's your dignity? No, party. I have to say, bloating and explosions are so satisfying. This is why I never miss a party. Oh, and look at that. You can actually do a full chapter. Honestly, I might. But, not today. Uh, today. Thank you for watching. Inculinati is live on Steam right now. This demo can be played right there. I think I'm gonna do one more episode because honestly, I've had good fun and I haven't embarrassed myself yet. So we need to step up our game. I'll see you in the next video and until then, later, alligator.